Donald Trump, before he was an elected president, was talking about how broken and horrible and swampy and deep statey, how every part of our system was fucking horrible, right? And then he comes in and he continues to act the same way. He can't build any alliances in DC. He has nobody that likes him. He's constantly firing and reshuffling his staff over and over and over again. So when you say, I can't believe that like they didn't like him. Yeah, no, he made an enemy of literally every no, in Washington. That's not, that's not the point I'm trying to make. I, I, it's not that I can't believe. Again, you're using, you're changing my words, man. It's a, I, from the very onset, they were they were gonna hate this guys because he he was saying things that nobody else would say. Yeah, like times, grab him by the and McCain was a loser for getting tortured in Vietnam. Yeah, he was saying things that wait, nobody wait, else wait, was wait, saying. Wait, yeah, wait, of course. That, what do you mean? Yeah, grab him by the was a reporting before he was president. Why would you bring that up? That's weird, man. Why would I bring up something the guy said before he was president? Yeah, like it's like if we if we search everybody's history, we have if somebody can we can grab everything from anyone and then basically say, hey, this is who this person is, regardless of who they are. Yeah, as people president. do this. It's called op ed research. Yeah, Everybody yeah, does this really, in elections. Yes. Yeah, well, just, and that's a problem. How many times did Trump scream super predator from Hillary Clinton? I bet you've used this quote if I check your Twitter. When did Hillary Clinton say super predator? Like in 1993? Oh, no, she just said no, deplorables. And usually, I, I, I don't really. It she doesn't have to sound good. No, hold on. She, the super predator comment was brought up a lot in the election cycle when it was Hillary versus I, I, Trump. I, I don't, I don't care about that. That's that's stupid. That's, that's fine silly. that you that's, don't care about it, but I'm saying it wasn't unique to Trump. It's like no, no, people no, no, doing no, op-ed no, research. I, want, I didn't say it was or not, to not Trump. op-ed. Making, opposition research, oppo research. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, right. I, I'm just saying I'm not, I don't care what Trump <sighs> Trump said or Hillary said because that's how, that's how they that, that's how they constantly will come back. But but I'm not. I, what my interest is is just like not not understanding that the the whole scene for Trump is literally built for him to be this kind of delusional perspective because everybody's continuously saying coming after him and then bi building upon that and just trying to be like oh you uh, uh, you lost the election you lost this you and he's like I didn't lose the election the polls were saying this and the polls were saying that they're all lying to me look at the rush gate it ended a lot this guy would lose his mind anyone in his place would lose his mind. Okay, then then he's a psycho delusional guy. That could be your narrative, I guess. You have no evidence of this. Um, but like, if you want to believe that, that's fine. But like, I, I, like I, I, yeah, I just can't believe like funny. I mean, stories. you have the entire you, you have the entire Trump elections as as, as evidence. As, I have as the, I have evidence of him like lying about a ton of things. Yeah, but this evidence that like he's like been created into a psychotic delusional crazy person because of like everybody not liking him. I don't have any evidence of that. That's a, it's a fun no, story. It's but not like, just not liking them, they're coming after him. There's a difference when I'm not liking someone and basically attacking all not. The, the things you own, the things you, the, the things that basically uh, put, have your name on it, that your your own cre uh, credit, cre um, your your own person, your family, and your your livelihood. It, this okay. is the whole different thing. It's not just. Sure. I just hate so the president. Besides besides conjecture and circumstantial evidence, do you have any proof of anybody else saying that Trump is delusional instead of all the other people around him saying he was lying? Is there any any statements, any doctor reports, any personal statements by Trump, anything like that? Or is this all just? If, if, you, if you if you want, I could compile this, and we could just sell all the people who have constantly been saying he's delusion, he's crazy, he, he's not fit for office, he's he's a pay, uh, he's a he's a traitor, he's a he's a especially with the Russian gate. We can go through all that. I could bring it all to you, and then you could just check it there and be like, oh, oh, I must have had fish memory. Not to say you do, but. That's that's sometimes people forget the obvious. I I'm mean, not we had talking about opposition yet. people calling him crazy or delusion or whatever. People say this about politicians all the time. Not like they did with Trump, man. Wait, They're not no one. Are you okay? I'm just curious. Are you planning on voting for Trump in the next election? No, I'm gonna vote for Biden so that the housing crisis happens and I can buy a house for my for my beautiful wife. Okay. Were there any factual disagreements you had with me, or was it just this narrative about Trump? Uh, no, it's it's not a factual disagreement. I don't think you have any facts. I think you're reading what a, a narrative by a one group and just basically running with it. What do you and mean? I know, I'm reading I hope, a narrative. Hold on, I'm sorry. What have I read that is just a narrative that isn't supported by any fact? The committee itself. It's not a, even a committee. That's why I was telling you the committee is not something that. Can you that tell is me a claim made by the committee that is not supported in fact? They're saying that the January 6th is an insurrection. That's not, there I don't even go. know if that was the point of the committee. The point of the committee is to go over yeah, the no, actions no, was, of everybody was, involved. Not only that, the point of the committee was trying to say that it was an insurrection so that they can then proceed with other kind of uh, laws to, to I think the specific, if you want to deal with that sickness. seven point thing that they were saying, that Donald Trump had did this or that or that, is there like a fact that they assert about that that you disagree? You, like, you I might disagree, disagree with the overall thing that it's an insurrection, but you disagree with any of the, the underlying facts that they use to reach wait, that wait, conclusion? Wait, can, can I ask you a question? Uh, do you agree or disagree it's an insurrection? Uh, I think it was. Uh, an attempted insurrection, yeah, of course. 
an attempted insurrection. Could you defi- define why? Well, not only define insurrection, but why do you believe that? If because can... there was a group of people at the White House that had a plan to prevent the transfer of power because Donald Trump knew that he was getting people rallied up to go and fight at the White House, or I'm sorry, at the Capitol building, and he knew they had weapons and he sent them down there, uh, like basically knowing what everyone was going to do. Yeah, I would say that there's an insurrection. The whole goal of Donald Trump personally and the goal of the Oath Breakers, I believe, I haven't read through all the FBI and Diamonds yet, I hope I get to do that before Alex Jones, the goal of everybody there was to prevent the uh, certification of the vote. I, I disagree with that. What fact did I disagree? Because, what part of that do you disagree? With? What part do you no, think no, is no, not no. true? I'm not, I'm not talking about the oath breakers. I don't know what the hell they're they're going to. The fact is that Donald Trump was planning the uh, had or set upon an insurrection. That's that's false. That's completely. Did false. Donald There's Trump no tell Mike political. Pence not to certify the vote? No, no, the, the, Donald Trump. Yes, but he okay. said he said well, in order to see if there was any kind of foul play at hand. Okay. Did but he have any the reason? Day, did he have I, any reason to suspect that there was yeah, any foul play I, I, at hand? We already. Had, we're going in circles. We're already talking. Well, no, no, about wait, wait. Yeah, that's because you keep like bringing up like Obama and Comey and Hillary. I, I, no, I didn't. I, okay, I didn't bring Obama I know, so and Hillary. Very, very, very. And, and there's and a Hillary. super clear line of inquiry. Okay, did Donald Trump that's have right. any good reason to believe that there was something yeah. wrong with any of the electoral votes? Yes, yes, yes. What was the? He had he, he, for four years. He's like, we can continue doing so this. So the answer is no. Years. He has nothing. It's for four years. Oh, people no, no, no. Him, and that's his Oh wow, man, Destiny! Come on, you could you could do better than that. No, I'm asking for, you for, for a you. very no, no, clear, no, no. for a very clear. Listen, I don't have a lot of time, I, and I don't want to do like the ramble well, thing. So it's a super easy, I, super clear rambling. question. You for are four rambling. Years. For four no, it's years. not four years. We had Russia Gate. Russia Gate alone is enough to be for, for someone to have a doubt. To think the election was rigged? Yeah, absolutely. There okay. could be. There, there, right. no, okay, okay. You're not interested in the conservative perspective. You're just interested in running whatever perspective you have. I'm interested without, in what, facts over feelings. I want to know, like, what are the facts of the matter and what happened? Care, and you're interested in, well, about, Donald no, Trump felt bullied, so he thought the election was fake. This is. The actual, I don't care about the Ben Shapiro line. Him too. The point is that it's not a bed trail line. I'm just saying that, like, I want the facts of the matter. What happened and what was everybody's perspective at the time? Not this whole story. Like, he was bullied for four years. Like, this. Yeah. If you want to do a snippet, that's fine. But the point is that you have four years of rushing it would have somebody uh, just alone would have somebody doubtful of trusting any kind of institution that you're, you're you're in right now. And if you can't put that together, that's on you. We can disagree on that. But clearly anyone with a mind or, or thinking process would, would be like after four years of them trying to get me like this with no kind of due process, real due process, people, no evidence and finding out this thing was fake. Yes you i'm not gonna believe anything that's what his mindset is gonna be i think it's stupid yeah it's delusional yeah i don't want him to be in office but you you not you but these people created this monster and they're and i wish they stopped putting him in media shows and stuff like that but you're creating this monster. Did they, did they also not create like, him like stealing private uh, or classified material and not returning? Yeah, it? like just like every president that does this. But yeah. pro- probably Obama has some stolen oh, really? documents. Can you name? Can you name a single president well, that's was, ever? We, we, can you name we, a? Can you name a single president that has rejected the uh, National Archives or the FBI's request to return classified material? Just one. No. So no, no other. Name, okay, so no name, other person has done this. You, no, no, not a single. There, you can't you know, name it because it doesn't never happen. It doesn't happen. Usually, usually, they don't have to because they could just be like, "Yeah, we just gave it in." And, we do, and, and at the same time, as we're doing investigation to no. Biden, we find out that, that he has more documents. Okay. That he didn't, he oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Was Donald Trump well, not given that? about a year to return the documents with no oh, yeah, questions asked? For that. Oh, okay. Again, why did you? Why do you say? No. Why did you say? No. But before you didn't just admit that you try to make it sound like he did the same thing everyone else did. No, 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 no. It's just, yeah, yeah, every president does this stuff. The difference is Wait. that Trump is stupid. Stu- Let me finish. Trump is stupid enough to literally say to the very. Okay. I'm sorry. It's like an average conservative. I can't. I'm sorry. I need to be like, oh, yeah. Deuce, um, Deuce QP. This is probably one of the most common bad faith. Bro, Melina's done it to me personally. Other friends have done it to me. Uh, political debater people have done it to me. Uh, I watch people on TV do this to me. This is one of the most common, I wouldn't call this gaslighting, but like one of the most common weird debate tactics that I'll ever see, okay? You'll say, here, here, is, the, here is the thing, okay? You'll say, hey, John did X. And the person will say, what? John didn't do X. And then you'll go, yeah, he did. Here's the proof that John did X. And they'll go, no, John did X because blah, 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 blah. And before you know it, you're arguing over the sub reasons and you're forgetting, wait a second. Wait, so you agree with me that John did do X. Wait, why the, what the f- are you even arguing about now? And that last caller did that. Uh, January 6th was an, was an insurrection. No, it wasn't an insurrection. What do you mean? Of course it was. Donald Trump did this, this, and this. Donald Trump only did that because of all the media attacking him and all the people going after him. And all, 
wait, and then now we're arguing about, but wait, hold on. So then you agree it was an insurrection, but Donald Trump did it because the media like bullied him into doing it. So it was an insurrection. Yeah, that, that like turnaround, I don't know if maybe I do this to people and I'm not even aware of it. I need to check for that. But like that turnaround of stuff is so f annoying where somebody will make a claim and then you make the counterclaim and then they pretend somehow that they're not agreeing with the counterclaim, but then they're justifying the counterclaim. And oh my God, it was so annoying when, when people do this. An insurrection is an attempted coup. So saying it's an attempted insurrection is redundant. Oh, is that true? I thought a coup and an insurrection were pretty interchangeable. Is an insurrection mean it's only an attempt? Destiny, I think your strategy with going point by point destroys people like the previous chatter. Yeah, but I think when you do it, people view you as being very aggressive and bad faith. Like Alex Jones will never let anybody do that. But like, there's a reason why in court, when you do cross-examination, it's like question, answer, question, answer. Please answer the question. Please answer the question. Question, answer. Yeah. Like if we, if we could do like, bro, if we could do like court for a debate where it's like, I call this person to the stand, go up here. We're doing a cross-exam. These are my questions. Answer the question or shut the up. And if you talk more, the judge is going to tell you to shut the up. Okay. That would be a dream. Like question. Answer, question. And then we can just go down the whole line. And then after that, then you can have your turn, okay? Jesus Christ, I would come in my pants so hard. It would spray through my cotton and whoever's in front of me. I don't think it's a debate tactic or manipulation. I think it's just people getting caught up in the argument because they either feel like there was a good reason for that person to do what you accuse them of doing. No, I mean, I can tell you what it is, okay? I, like, I, like, I know what it is. He, this is this is how it works, okay? And I know exactly what's going on in your mind, and you won't acknowledge this, but it's because I understand your mind better than you do, and that's fine, okay? I understand that's threatening. Here's what here's how it works, okay? What you normally do, let's say that I want to build, um, let's say that I want to build a, uh, I want to build a, I want to have a box, okay? 10 feet off the ground, okay? Here's what you do, okay? You would build like a base, okay? You would like erect like uh, some pillar, you would make sure that it has like the proper supports. And then you would, um, and then you'd have like the holding thing or whatever, but I'm just like making it turn. And then boom, now you have it elevated, okay? If you wanna fight on this structure, the way that you fight, assuming this is how you've assembled the structure, the way that you would fight is you would say, okay, well, first I started with the base, okay? This is my fundamental argument, okay? Donald Trump lied about the election. Um, here are like my supports, okay? Everybody around him told him that he was lying. Everybody helped him pass this lie. Here's like this, uh, you know, the Dominion lawsuit, Fox News people were saying they knew it was a lie. Um, <clears throat> here's this, Donald Trump was making phone calls, sending information, he knew it was false, asking for help, and then boom, that's how I build my thing, okay? That's, if, you, if you've built an argument logically, you can go, Syllogistically almost. It's not really syllogistic, but like step by step by step by step by step. Super easy. But the problem is for people that believe in the big lie, that's not how they've built it. Instead, what they have is this gravity defying mishmash of these like interconnected beliefs that are all connected at chain and through like some sort of like magnetic force, okay, are in air supporting their claim. That's why if I ask a simple question, like, can you give me one piece of evidence that Donald Trump uh, believes? Why, why does he really believe the election's fake? Can you give me one piece of evidence that? The answer is never like, oh, well, I know that he thinks it's fake because Barr was actually telling him with a high degree of confidence. It was fake. But this didn't happen. Like, Barr didn't say this. Barr said the opposite. Barr even uh, made a statement that the FBI investigated, for instance, Dominion voting machines and said there was no evidence whatsoever that these were possessed by the ghost of Hugo Chavez. None whatsoever, okay? The reason why they can't answer on a particular point is because they haven't built their arguments rationally. They have a chain link connected, gravity defying, magnetic bull levitating piece of trash argument that is reliant on every part of the narrative being true. That's why when I ask, why does why do you think Donald Trump is like actually acting good faith? Well, the reason why is because four years ago when Russiagate started and then Fauci was already investing in pharmaceutical companies to make the fake to control the will of the United States public and then the uh, bin, uh, and then Hillary Clinton and the emails work together um, because you saw when they deprived Bernie Sanders of the, the like, like everything is like self-reinforcing and connecting and none of it is actually built on any logic whatsoever. That's why I get frustrated when I argue with some of these people. It's like, okay, if you've constructed an argument to have a reasonable conclusion, let's just go through the premises. But they can't go through the premises because they never thought about a premise. Instead, it's just this huge bull collection, this thought cloud of ambiguous, nebulous bull when none of it is actually justified and all of it is just headlines and clips and podcasts they've heard from all the
alternative media people, I say alternative media people, but mainstream media people like Tucker Carlson or other Republican lawmakers listen to. Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. But anyway, if you're ever curious when I'm arguing with somebody why they won't just go point by point, why won't they just like sit there and break down point by point? It's because they've never gone point by point. All of their arguments are supported by all of the other random things they've heard. That's why. Okay. I appreciate that, Destiny. All right. Bye. Remember to hit that like and subscribe and don't forget the notification bell so that my videos show up right in your feed.